And it is time for the Minnesota Music Show to begin. But before we can do that, we have to thank our sponsor. The Minnesota Music Show is proud to have Brookview Winery as a sponsor. Brookview Winery, home of the Fat Little Heart Wine. They are a friendly, family-owned farm winery in Malacca, producing delicious red, white, and fruit wines that will delight your palate. Open Thursday through Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Check out Brookview Winery and have yourself a fat little heart. Hi, I'm Arlen, farmer and winemaker at Brookview Winery in Malacca. I would like to invite each and every one of you to experience our friendly, family-owned winery and sample our fat little heart wines and hard cider. At Brookview Winery, we pride ourselves on being the friendliest winery with great wine, really great wine. Enjoy our wines and ciders by the flight, the glass, or buy bottles to go. Brookview Winery is open Thursdays through Sundays, 10 to 6. Like Brookview Winery on Facebook for upcoming events and more info. Follow your heart to Brookview Winery. Again, big thanks to Brookview Winery. And it is now the Minnesota Music Show. It is official. I am Alex Martin, and we have Matt French. How's it going? It's going great, man. Oh, so excited to have you here. This has been on the books for a little bit, and I've been sitting here and I've been listening to, to your, your music. And um, a bunch of other people have been on the show have been like, check this guy out. They've been like almost angry that I haven't like had you on the show yet. So this is the culmination of a lot of stuff. So welcome. Thank you so much. And, and thank you to all the people that, uh, that recommended me <laughs> forward to this for a long time. Yeah. So, um, for those that haven't heard, uh, your music, which they haven't been paying attention to us recently, uh, how would you describe your genre, your style, your, uh, just everything? Who are you? <laughs> yeah. I think that, um, you know, I come from I come from small town Ohio originally. Uh, moved to Minnesota in 2005. Um, I have a little bit of country roots in me, um, but I uh, kind of in my high school years I sort of shunned that, even though it was like everybody in the town was <laughs> listening to the uh, to country radio. I wanted to be different, so you know I, I was listening to uh, bands like the Counting Crows and. Um, Smashing Pumpkins <laughs> and uh, sort of the the alternative scene, somewhat. Yeah. Um, but in my in my old age, <laughs> um, uh, really have kind of come back around to those roots. And um, when we made the when we made the last EP, Winding Road, um, we were we were kind of we were at the end of recording all the songs, and we wanted to put a pedal steel guitar on it, and. Uh, we happened to have a friend of a friend who from Nashville who happened to be in town with his pedal steel guitar, and we we put him on the record, and it was kind of at that at that moment that I realized that country was in my blood. That's <laughs> who I wanted to be. Yeah, you can't you can't you can't, you can't hide from it any longer. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, people hear that word country, they get a bit scared off by it, but I think it's um, there's a there's a new crop of artists um, that sort of bend more towards the Americana genre with a little bit of that country in there. And I'd probably say that's where I land. Okay. That's fair. I, I always like to think that it doesn't matter what, as long as you're good. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, right. And like, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, you know, really, you're right. That's that you nailed it because it, it is all about the song. Yeah. Um, and if, you, if you're writing good songs, particularly if you're writing songs that connect with yourself, they're probably going to connect with people too. And it doesn't really matter if there's a, there's a twangy guitar <laughs> or what have you. That's just, that's all window dressing. All right, so, guitarist? Uh, yeah, um, I played guitar since, so I started guitar when I was 17, and um, it was a thing that uh, I was uh, really into to church growing up, and um, at the youth ministry that I went to, our youth pastor played the guitar, and so we just wanted to be like him. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we, we all picked up the guitar, and... Uh, my, my best friend at the time, his name was Jeremy and we, um, I got an electric guitar for Christmas one year and, you know, we, we used to, we'd play on Wednesday nights at church and then I'd go home and try to, try to learn the riff from Nirvana or, or Bush or <laughs> wh whoever that I could come up with, you know, trying to come up with some Metallica song that I could play or whatever yeah. at the time. So, so, you know, you, you were the, the music rebel, right. you got the guitar and from there it was just history. Yeah, you know, I over the years I I'm uh, known to uh, for not being committed to guitars. <laughs> um, I you know I, I find guitars sometimes are uh, like relationships for some people. <laughs> um, I count my guitars as as my children, but uh, but I seem to go through a lot of children. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
But sometimes they need to leave the nest. They do. They do. I really just I want them to get out on their own and have their own experience. Right? <laughs> Perfect. So, um, would, would you mind giving us a taste of, of what you got? I noticed you brought a guitar. I did bring a guitar, and I, I actually just got this one last week. So. Ooh, so this is this is a fresh, it's a, yes, yes. A, a new child. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I always like to kick my shows off with this with this song, stories. Okay. Um, but um, this is a song called Stories, and I released it as a right after I. The day that I released the EP Winding Road, I did a show at Astor Cafe, um, and there was a there was someone from a local radio station in attendance, and I, I had just written this song and didn't make the EP. It was after we had done the recording process and everything, and uh, Lord knows they wouldn't ask about any of the actual songs in the EP. <laughs> They're like, hey, how about that one? How about that one? That's the one that I like. And so I quickly went into their studio and just recorded kind of an acoustic version with yeah. me and a pedal steel guitar. and. Um, I love that version, but um, this is also on the upcoming record as a full band. Oh. Well, I want to write you a story, but I ain't got one to tell. One that's laden with hooks like you read. And it gets itself stuck in your head All I've got is this guitar And a heart that's been broken into A few little songs hope you lost in your mind And have a dream or two As the band French live here on the Minnesota Music Show. Beautiful. Thank you. We, we've actually been playing that one a little bit here, too. So um, local radio apparently digs that yeah. song. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, um, you're, you're, you're talking about new album coming out? Yeah, so uh, we started back in March. Uh, my producer, Danny O'Brien, who's uh, he's just a super talented fella. Um, he's in a band called Dem Ute. And uh, he, uh, formerly of the Farewell Circuit, he was the lead singer of that group. Um, super talented guy, has a studio in his in his basement in South Minneapolis called Hot Dad Labs. <laughs> and uh, so if any of the locals out there are looking for recording help, Hot Dad Labs, Danny O'Brien, you should look him up. Um, but yeah, we started back in March and uh, the band and I uh, went in and uh, tracked live over about three or four days. And um, we got 12 songs that are coming on this record. Uh, I got a title, uh, and I'll, I'll play the title track as uh, one of the next ones that I play here. But the uh, title of the record is going to be called "Sweet Love." Ooh, yeah. Ah, that makes me smile already. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, when when it comes time to making an album, I I have never done it. Yeah, I've never recorded a single thing. So, um, when it comes to time for you to like get the music ready, get everything set, um, what is that process for you? Like, do you do like from the roots? Do you just like have words that you're just like, I need to find music for, or do you have a song that you're like, where, where, where are the words? Like, well, you know, I, I kind of, I constantly, I want to be writing. Uh, there are times where, um, that ground is a bit more fertile <laughs> and, uh, than it, than it is at others. Uh, um, but over the last couple of years, I've been writing all of, all of these songs and, um, you, I, I, I probably had, I don't know, I had probably 15 or 20 songs that, um, I had written more than that, but there were 15 or 20 that I'd go, okay, I might put them on a record. Um, but I like to, uh, this is my first full length record. I made two EPs. One had five songs and one had six songs on it. Uh, this is 12. Um, and for this one, I really wanted to, I always want to tell a story. Um, that song that I just, yeah. that I just played. And it, it really is kind of about, uh, you, you want to, you want to have a theme, but you want, um, you want, you want to kind of take people on a journey in a way and it's the a journey that maybe you've gone through yourself that you know that others have gone through as well or are going through um so when i sat down with the you know the list of songs for this record i had typically been a sad songwriter um <laughs> over the last yeah. couple of eps you know i went through a time in my life where i was um i was going through uh, from a personal standpoint going through a divorce and um just a real change in my life and Music is what got me through that. Oh yeah, no, it's 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 a it's a heals a lot of wounds. Yeah, and when I sat down to 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 pick out the songs for this record, I was like, oh, most of those are happy. <laughs> I must be happy. <laughs> I con I convinced myself with this record, um, and you know, I didn't set out to to um, to not write a record about heartbreak this time, but it was really cool to when when I looked back over the last couple of years of my life to see that journey from from a place where things weren't quite as happy to this you know making a record called sweet love and that's what most of the songs are about yeah no that's that's that's, that's a really interesting concept that you discovered how you're feeling yeah, based yeah. on looking at your own <laughs> record that's amazing to me that's super cool um other than that uh you got a, a full band uh for the for the for the record it's not just you and a guitar yep yep so for the uh for the record we've got uh bass drums guitar there's some uh pedal steel again on this record uh we had an amazing keyboard player that came in uh and then one of my one of my favorite artists uh sarah morris is singing some vocals on it as well there's she a, she is not bad uh, yeah, <laughs> she's, she's pretty good yeah yeah. Well, the, the, yeah the minnesota music show is a pretty big fan of hers so we like her yeah there's actually um there's a there's a song uh that her and i wrote together on the on the record as well that i'm pretty excited about too. okay that's that's super cool um any ballpark on when we might be hearing some of that? Uh, you're probably looking at the fall. Okay. Yeah, um, this fall is going to be an amazing uh, season for, for CD releases. I'm yeah. just saying. <laughs> that's, that's one of the cool things about, you know, um, about this year especially. There's something about this year where there's tons of people releasing records. You know, Dan Israel just released yeah. a record. You've got Carrie Arnett is coming up with a record. Um, you've got Ben Cook Feltz that's coming up with a record. Vicki Emerson coming up for, with a record. I'm... And... I, there's just so much energy around the local music scene right now. Andy Fitzgerald, <laughs> uh, which we should talk about. Um, after this next break, we're totally going to talk yes. about that. All right. <laughs> so, Annie, Annie, if you're listening, we love you. We, yeah, we do. Um, but also, um, the, I've, I've just noticed about the, 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 the album release thing uh, that like this like like Kickstarter 
a lot of great stuff comes out of there. But like, I'm just looking at my own wallet being like, I can't give, <laughs> I need to give more. Like, so I'm super excited about what's coming up here and I'm super excited about what's coming up with you. And I'm super excited about what's coming up in the next break. See, people said I couldn't do segues. I just did. Anyway, we'll be back in just a little bit with more of M French live in studio here on the Minnesota music show. And we're back here on the Minnesota music show. We were chatting, almost missed it, but M French live in studio. It, it so far it's been a blast. I already actually can't believe it's been 20 minutes of us hanging out. So yeah, 20 minutes already. <laughs> I know, right? So uh, we were talking uh, before the break. We 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 teased at a, a a little a little show you might be doing. Yeah. Uh, coming up. What what would what's what's that entail? Yeah. So on on June 1st, my I met, so Annie Fitzgerald is releasing a new record, and yeah. we're gonna we're gonna play a song by her later before the uh, before the show's out here, but. Uh, I met Annie a couple of years back, and um, I I think I met her at a, at a show, um, someone else's show that we that we had both attended, and uh, we had coffee the next morning, and it was like I had known her for <laughs> for my entire life, and um, I love her music, and just one of the most uh, all around beautiful inside and out humans on the planet. <laughs> um, you'll hear it in the song, uh, but you'll know at the moment that you see her and the moment that you interact with her what a special human being this is. Yeah. So, June 1st. June 1st at the Hook and Ladder. Hook and Ladder. Minneapolis. Uh, It is myself. uh, My band is opening the show. um, And Jen Bloom is also joining us. And if you don't know, Jen is amazing, amazing voice, amazing songwriter, um, uh, also known as Waltzing on Waves. Okay. So if you hear that um, as well, she's joining us for the night. Um, and then Annie and her band, of course, are going to play the new record and, and just, you, you will love it. So trust me. Yeah. Plus the hook and ladder. Yeah. That's a, that's a fine venue it's itself. It's a great venue. So yeah. that sounds like a good one. I'll put a link to that on the Minnesota Music Show Facebook page. Thank you. So that sounds like a great time. Um, and you'll be there playing. I'll be there. Um, yeah. if you, if, how about this? Uh, do you want to play one right now? I do. Okay. want to, uh, <laughs> want to, want to play one. Um, I was trying to decide what I was going to play, but uh, uh, from our conversation, you know, I kind of told you a bit a bit of my story over the last couple of years. But um, I had written this song called "Back to You" um, a few years back, and I kind of I put it on the shelf because I didn't think it was very good. Uh, I, I thought it was sweet, but not good. Um, and then um, recently, you know, with uh, making the new record and realizing that, man, you know, life has really changed and happiness has come back and it's come back because of music. It's come back because of the community, the friends that I've made through music. And um, so this song's on the new record um, and it's it's really groovy on the new record, but I'll play a little acoustic okay. version here.
when you think that it's over, just be strong. When the world's getting colder, just hold on, just hold on. Then you hold on a little more, Alex. We're holding on. Cause love will find a way back to you. All oh, love will find a way back to you. All oh, love will find a way. Love will find a way back to you. The love you give away, it will come back to you. The love you give away, it will come back to you. I promise. M. French live here on the Minnesota Music Show. Now, I've always said it's it's super uh, cool that like if you told 15 year old Alex that people would come in and play music for him, <laughs> I'd be like, nah, it's not true. But like, I do get serenaded on almost a, a weekly basis, and now I've specifically <laughs> gotten <laughs> serenaded here. So uh, <laughs> it's a super cool job I got, folks. <laughs> anyway, uh, so the first of June, first of June, hook, hook and ladder. ladder. That's uh, starts the show starts at seven. Uh, but Alex will put a link on the uh, the Mim and Music Show show uh, Facebook page, yep. right? Uh, but you want to get your tickets now uh, because it's likely to sell out. Yes, because it's Annie Fitzgerald. Yes, it's a it's it's a it's a it's a good it's a good uh, good set. It's yes, a lot of talented folks going to be there. So go do that, and uh, also like go 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 see my boy here. That's right. <laughs> I'd love to see you. Yeah. All right, so we're actually going to take another quick break and be back with more here on the Minnesota Music Show. Minnesota Music Show continues here on KBEK. My name is Alex Martin, Matt French, live in studio. Man, this is awesome. It's so much fun here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, like that's that's always the part. Like you're, I'm, 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 everyone's always like, it's going to be like such a like down to the minute formal thing no it's, it's about having fun and like that's a comfortable musician is always one that's going to give you something better <laughs> so we're, we're, we're sitting here in the studio talking about music talking about cool people talking about cool places um i am not like this is as close to the minnesota music scene as i get yeah. like I, I i read up on it i'm like I'm like in an ivory tower of radio here um what's it like actually being a part of it boots on the ground man I think that it's the most wonderful, magical thing in, in, in the universe. <laughs> personally, um, we we have so many to, so many not people that aren't just talented and aren't just making wonderful music and all kinds of genres, but they're also really nice people. And um, when you can get groups together like that that really support each other, that love each other, that are genuinely cheering for each other. That is what life and community is all about. And so I find um, the, the way that I would love all life and community to be in the Minnesota music scene. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Is there any trends or things that we should be looking out for, like some, some cool stuff coming on that, that, that uh, us, the listener and audience, should pay attention to? You know, we talked to, you, you mentioned Kickstarter before, no. and, and there have been um, several friends that have have done that right now um a, a good good friend and sweet gal jillian ray has one going on which you should check out everyone everyone listening check out jillian ray's music um support her kickstarter um but but that's kind of a trend you know um making music obviously is 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 spendy yeah um and and artists these artists are working hard they're playing gigs and some of the gigs you get paid some of the gigs you don't get paid and um but really doing it for the love and putting their heart and soul into it and really putting things out there that, that are, are really going to connect with people. Um, and so I'd say just in general, you know, art, I, I think the value is coming back to art. There's like legislation, legislation that's happening right now um, because of, you know, streaming services yes. and things like that have, have for a while controlled what the value of a song was. And, and it, you know, ended up being point oh 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 three cents per play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, um, just the the streaming that that recent development in in the world, like, it is so convenient 
Yeah. But like, there's part of me, like as the person that's like, I can have the world in my hand, but like, I, I, it's, it, it's almost, it almost, I almost want to shower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like the more that we, as the, the people can, can, can yell about it, the more likely it is that you, the, the artists actually get compensated. Yeah. Fairly. And so there's, yeah, there's, there's, there are those things, the uh, trends that are happening. Um, as far as in the Minnesota music scene, go see live music. Uh, there's a there's a recent um, news article that I saw that people who go out and see live music live longer lives, <laughs> and I I I fully believe that um, because it fills your soul up. Yeah, and maybe you're drinking some red wine while you're, <laughs> while you're doing it, so maybe that helps too. But yeah, that's it's 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 the community that I've noticed is every every single I I, ha- I haven't heard a single person like put down another yeah. artist like every once in a while they'll be like oh those guys over there I tell you but <laughs> but then they'll be like yeah we're, we're playing with them next week they're great <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> so uh we have about six minutes until our next break are you th- are you thinking music time uh yeah sure all right always, always up to play something i sure appreciate it <laughs> why don't uh why don't i this is this is the title track uh from the upcoming record it's called sweet love uh you can find this so uh, aside from the musicians that are out there, there are like um, we recorded a live video of this with a, um, a a couple. Welcome to the Goulsons is the name of it. Oh yeah, no, they're amazing, yeah. amazing series. And and so uh, the video series like that and uh, the song stories was recorded live on the Pony Rug, which yeah. is another video series. And so there are things like that. Other other than the musician community, there are people that are taking their creativity and contributing to the to the overall good of everyone and I love that. So this is sweet love. Oh my baby. You're the only one that could say Just one look in your eyes have caught me by surprise Oh my darling I never saw you come Just one glimpse of you And I see my truth Won't you take me down Sweet love Won't you take me down tonight Sweet love Won't you take me down to the place where I belong I belong with you Oh, my honey, you're all I've ever wanted. Give you all of my charms, spend my life in your arms, drive me crazy. Have it any other way Be with you night and day Sweet love Won't you take me down Sweet love Won't you take me down tonight Sweet love Won't you take me down to where I belong I belong with you Sweet love Won't you take me down Sweet love Won't you take me down tonight Sweet love Won't you take me down to the place where I I 
Take it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Matt French live here on the Minnesota Music Show. Now we got just a few seconds. I'm gonna do a little, little. We call it a teaser. Okay. I, I, not really, but anyway, um, we got a whole bunch of stuff to get to um, here in the uh, last segment here, um, like how people can find you and where to get your music and all that kind of stuff. So when you when we get back from this break, you'll hear a lot more cool stuff about this fella right here. And we are back here on the Minnesota Music Show. Matt French live in studio with me. How's it going, Matt? It's going great, man. This has been a blast. Yeah, no, I like. Don't be a stranger. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, we're not even done yet, but I'm just saying, you're welcome back anytime. Um, so we got the show on the first of June at the Hook and Letter for uh, Miss mm-hmm. Miss Annie Fitzgerald. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's going to be a good one. Um, other than that, any other upcoming things that you want to? Uh, I got a few things. I'm playing at uh, Minnehaha Falls on uh, July 27th. It's an evening. Um, so uh, Minneapolis Parks uh, do events, and there's tons of artists. A lot of the ones that I've, that I've mentioned <laughs> that are friends of mine are, yeah. are playing various shows. Um, so check out the, the, the park's website for okay. the full schedule. All right. And uh, any, any other dates that people might want to find? Where could they find information on you? Yeah, um, the, probably the best place is uh, my website, mfrenchmusic.com. Okay. Pretty simple. Um, and that will let you, uh, you can watch the live videos that we talked about uh, there. You can, you can listen to my music there free of charge. So, hey. yeah, that's always a good thing. Um, but uh, you can, one of, the, one of the greatest things you can do for an artist is sign up for their mailing list. And, um, you know, I know you get a bunch of emails. We don't send them out too, too very often. But um, sign up for the mailing list. There's also links to all of my socials on there. Yeah. I'm at M French Music, so really, really super easy to find. All right, and uh, just any any music sales. If the people wanted to give you money and actually buy that uh, music, not just stream it from your website. Yeah, you can uh, you can get it on iTunes. Uh, your all of the you know iTunes, Amazon Music, uh, Spotify, of course, is you know it's streaming, but um, you can find it there. Anything you do, you can do to tell others about our music is a, is a big thing because it's 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 grassroots it's homegrown just like the show here <laughs> okay hey I, I i grassroots that's like even if i ever do make it big other than the tens and tens of fans i got right now mm-hmm. um i still want to like just have a torn up t-shirt like normal anyway um annie fitzgerald we were talking about her we we're talking about you know like I, I listened to the, to, to the, the the release of that disc, um, it's 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 just a, a, a just a thing of sunshine. Like <laughs> it is, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. It's if if you want to go out in the morning on the brightest day and look up and stare at the sun, <laughs> that's what listening to this record is like. So she's gonna be there with you here at the uh, at I guess her uh, <laughs> her uh, her record release on the first, right? She is, yes. And uh, she might be playing this song right here. We it, said listen carefully. Listen carefully. Oh, I love Song, yeah. so what, what what is it about the, this song? I know I'm asking you. What's it like other people's music? But like, what, what is it? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think that when you, uh, particularly when you know someone personally, um, and I think the whole record is just all about who Annie is as a person, <laughs> and I love that when when you can see that reflected in somebody's music. Um, but if I was a listener that hadn't um, hadn't ever, uh, if I if I didn't know the person behind it. Um, just what you said, man. It's just a ray of sunshine, and um, I think that you'll you'll feel good listening to it. You'll love the you'll love the sounds that you're hearing, but but more importantly, your your it will light your heart up, and right. that's what I like about it. So, should we take a listen? Let's do it. All right, we got "Listen Carefully" by Annie Fitzgerald, and it's got the M French stamp of approval on that. <laughs> it's official, folks. Here you go.
Annie Fitzgerald with Listen Carefully here on the Minnesota Music Show, officially stamped of approval by M. French. <laughs> Once again, double stamp. Double st- you got the double stamp. We that's a rare thing here on the Minnesota Music Show. So, again, June 1st. June 1st at the Hook and Ladder, 7 p.m. Uh, you want to get your tickets now because um, it's likely to sell out because Annie is just that good. <laughs> again, I'll put uh, that, uh, a link to that, a link to your website, a link to everything I can find on all y'all uh, on the Minnesota Music Show Facebook page. Because, like, it's super cool. It's going to be a great show. Don't miss out on an opportunity, folks. Thank you. <laughs> um, other than that, um, we've got about 10 minutes left. Um, any, any hi, moms, or anything you want to say? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 hope that, I hope that mom's listening. You know what? I was, I was telling somebody the other day the story of uh, when my parents bought me my first guitar. Yeah. Uh, it, was a, it was a red Fender Squire Stratocaster. And um, I opened it up on Christmas morning, and I got I got that in a little a little practice amp. And uh, prior to playing the guitar, I had played a few other instruments. Um, I played the cornet for like three seconds. <laughs> uh, I I played the trombone for five seconds, um, and none of those things stuck. So I don't know. You know, years later, talking to mom and dad, um, I don't know that they knew. At that point, when they bought me the guitar, they thought it. They thought it might. Maybe they thought it might last ten seconds. Yeah. This one will probably end up in the closet too, like that. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but if if they hadn't done that for me, it, uh, there's there's so so much that I wouldn't have been able to experience. And um, so I'm grateful for parents who love and support and um, uh, are just big fans of. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's there's not enough of them, and the ones there. They don't get enough attention. So I'm going to thank them too. Thank you, Matt's yes. parents. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So, again, 10 minutes. Uh, I was thinking, you still got the guitar. I haven't seen it put away yet. I do, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, a guitar guy. Uh, I'm going to play this song. Uh, this is off the, the Winding Road EP, my last EP. And, um, uh, this is a song called Just Getting Started. And uh, I wrote this around my birthday one year. Uh, my birthday's in November. And, and I was just kind of like, it was in that, uh, again, that, that record was written in this time of my life where I was really going through this transition. And uh, the song brought me so much hope. Um, and uh, it's called Just Getting Started. And I typically mess it up when I play it, but we'll see. That's just live radio. Passed us by all the days and all the ways the story's told. Don't look now, but the best is yet to come. Keep the faith and don't forget that you are loved. Enjoy the ride, cause you don't know when it's over. Embrace the young, cause we're only getting. We all know how but don't know why And the years condemn your heart if you let them Just look up, shine your light for all to see Don't give up and just hold on to the ones you love Enjoy the ride cause you don't know when it's over Never bet against your heart This isn't 
just getting started Just getting started. M. French live here on the Minnesota Music Show. Now, we got the closing minutes here. Um, I'm going to take most of them to just say thank you so much for coming up oh, and thank hanging you. out. Yeah, this is this is a blast. And yeah. thank you for what you're doing here highlighting Minnesota artists. Yeah, like it's 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 like when we first started uh, all the DJs here got uh got pretty much assigned what they liked. Like everyone was just like, "Oh, you 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 like a uh, big band and swing. You'll do the big band and swing show." What, what do you like, Alex? Like, I used to go to shows as a teenager, <laughs> so like, so like, I I did it, and then I dove head first, and now like, I don't know, like, it's it's it seems weird just because like I'm, I was born in Minnesota, just be like, it's one of the best music scenes I've ever found, but like, it's so cool here. So it's so, true, and thank you. Yeah, uh, we certainly appreciate. Yeah, it. you you guys make my job so much easier. <laughs> A couple of other artists that I want to make sure that I mentioned. I played a show with with these sweet kids uh, named Margo. That's yeah. the name of the band. A couple of weeks ago, and they just blew my mind. So check out Margo's music. Also check out Graham Bramblett. That guy is one of the best songwriters that I know. He he is amazing. He's currently the uh, the most uh, visits on this show okay. record holder. Yeah, so. he, <laughs> totally deserved. <laughs> yeah. Um, if if I actually traced everyone back, it would be Graham Bramlett's show. Like. <laughs> <laughs> he took a chance on me and then was just like, I'm going to tell my friends. <laughs> so, <laughs> so without him, yeah, thanks to Graham as well. But thanks to you because you're here. Um, it has been a blast hanging out with you. Let's hit those big details one more time. Where can people find you online? Yes, you can find me at mfrenchmusic.com uh, or at mfrenchmusic on all of the social medias. Um, and those are the uh, – so that will get you to Facebook, Twitter, which – don't go on Twitter anymore. People are just running their mouths. On <laughs> yeah, and and like I I have a Twitter and I'm like all right at it. Like <laughs> it's a skill. Like I don't understand it. And people it and people use that skill often for just a bunch of <laughs> bunch of nonsense. But anyway, um, you got the show coming up. Yeah, June first. Super excited. Annie Fitzgerald release show. Hook and ladder. Buy the tickets. Come to the show. You won't regret it. All right, and then. Um, the the website I'm sure you said you had an album uh, currently in the works coming out soonish. Yeah, where, look for that in the fall. It's called Sweet Love. You'll find a, you'll find some. Uh, uh, of of course, the uh, on the website is the acoustic video of the track Sweet Love. Um, but uh, there's so much more in store for the actual record version, and uh, I'm looking forward to so much more fun. Uh, looking forward to so much more community with the, with all the people that we talked about today. Yeah. That's what makes this thing fun. People like you supporting us. I think we're all like, I feel like we're all making deposits into this community. And um, when we are, when we're all contributing, or we're all contributing with our hearts, that's when things are successful. Yeah, and that's what I love about it. <laughs> hey, I, I appreciate being included in any group with all the talented people mm-hmm. you just named. So uh, go find him on all that stuff. Go uh, go go. Go go see him. Uh, go to his website. Go get some music. Go support um, this talented gentleman in front of me um, and and all the other people he named. Like, uh, thank you so much for coming in. Um, it's been a blast. And any any parting words for the good folks out there? I just wanted to want to say, you know, as a as a transplant to Minnesota, um, say thank you <laughs> to to all of the listeners out there. Uh, I feel like there there are a lot of people that love music here. And um, again, that, that's part of the contribution that we're all kind of we're all kind of making to this to this scene. So thank you for coming out to to live shows. It means the world for people to to listen to music, um, to buy music, to um, to talk about us on social media, what have you. It really makes a difference. So thank you. All right, thank you. Um, when that album comes out, I'm expecting the email, phone call, whatever. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, don't be a stranger. Oh, I won't. And you folks out there, this is not the last time you'll be hearing this 